Hello everyone and welcome back to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, how to create a pretty interesting background uh, from a relatively boring picture. Let's say you go on a nice vacation and here you are, you're on vacation, you're on the beach, looking good. Uh, but you don't want to kind of, you don't want to send this to your friends. What you want to do is you want to make it look spiced up. You want to make it like you're in a, a magazine or something. Um, first thing you're going to do, of course, is you're going to actually um, cut yourself out of the background so that you can isolate this image as is and of course you're looking fabulous uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and first of all duplicate that layer I'm gonna turn that background back on I'm gonna duplicate that layer with control J I'm gonna pull that down below making sure that's below the original layer and uh, not much has changed of course but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to my blending options and what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna add a color overlay uh, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to choose a yellowish color, it's kind of beachy. Uh, leave it on normal, it opacity's 100% as well, hit OK. And you can see right away that we have no relative change outside of a little bit of yellow peeking through there. But what I'm going to do is going to take that layer and I'm simply going to choose my move tool, click to the left, until you find that it is in a good position. That looks pretty good there. Don't want to have it too far. You don't want to have it all the way out here because you don't want to have a separate layer unless that's what you're going for. Uh, but it's simply just bring it over maybe, you know, five to six clicks depending on your picture. Uh, so that's good there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to leave it there. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a brush tool. And in this brush tool, I'm going to grab a, like a, a sort of a, a uh, like a paint splatter or something uh, you can get those uh, online you can just go to Google and search something and of course I'm gonna create a new layer to do this uh, and I'm just gonna choose to make sure I have the right color on the same color as the background go ahead and hit OK and I'm just gonna have a nice paint splatter on the background however I don't want it over top of my image unless of course that's what you're going for but I'm gonna pull it down below the image so it looks like it's sort of bleeding off of the yellow in the background there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose another one of those paint black you know splotches or what have you uh, I'm gonna let's make this smaller here and we're gonna keep it on about the same layer uh, as we are here and I'm just gonna go ahead and BAM right out in the back there uh, and then maybe another one out near the bottom but a little bit smaller this time a little less in the way kinda maybe something like this that looks pretty cool there um, and from there, what I'm doing, sorry, I'm just getting rid of some old layers out here. What I'm doing is, is I'm just going to actually put a um, sort of a subtext on the background there. I've got beach already written out here, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe you can have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, I'm at the, or wherever you are. Let's just say, you know, can, Cancun 2015. You know, maybe that's where I was at this time. I take that and put that down. Maybe right here, Cancun 2015. Who knows, right? You can play around with this. And and the cool thing is, is now that you have all these kind of layers individual like this, is you can play around with the colors. I mean, you can change, you know, the background color there and change it to maybe a pink or something if you don't like that. And, you know, change this other color uh, around to pink and kind of play around with it and see what you get. Uh, but, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there for you guys to kind of, you know, take a little bit of a, a step further. Uh, on on what it is you want this to look like, but there you go. That's something you'd see usually in a magazine. It's very simple to do, uh, but there it is. All right. I hope you enjoy. Take care.